Hello, my name is Tim Konopelke and I'm the Systems Administrator and Technical Writer here at TerraDG. I'm delighted to be walking you through a video demonstration showing the performance benefits of the TerraDG PCOIP Hardware Accelerator in a VMware Horizon with View Environment. This will be helpful if you are considering conducting a proof of concept. Today, I will illustrate how to reduce CPU overhead and deliver a consistent user experience at all times. During our demo, we will show the impact on the user experience with and without our solution for both video and your everyday applications. Right now, I'm logged into a virtual machine with dual vCPUs and you'll see the CPU savings is pretty significant. We are running 3 gigabytes of RAM and two i7 processors at 350 gigahertz on a physical server. On the right hand side, I'm showing the Teradici PCOIP Hardware Accelerator dashboard. The dashboard is available at our technical support site at support.teradici.com. What this dashboard will do is allow you to manually control the disabling or enabling of the VMs through the Display Manager. It also shows the card processing power utilization as you are scaling up as well as the core and the physical CPU utilization of the ESXi host. As you add VMs, more VMs will show up on the dashboard with their names and you can select them. This is to be used in a proof of concept or for validation purposes and should not be run in a production environment. One of the first things we'll do is watch a YouTube video and we'll demonstrate the difference between an offloaded VM and non-offload session. There are two metrics we're showing here. On the red is the processor time for PC over IP server and frame rate. Up here we will be showing the, CP, the PCOIP server EXE load on the vCPU. So we'll be looking at these numbers to validate the reduction in the vCPU as we turn the card on and off. Now, as you can see, there's a red dot up in the upper left hand corner, but down here, if you see the VM screens are red, that means they are being offloaded. And if they are blue, it means that the offload is disabled. So let's go ahead and we'll first start with the YouTube video. We are going to run it in full screen mode. This is a 24 inch 1080p screen as you see the CPU utilization by PC over IP server is around 9% and the frame rate is averaging 24 to 25 frames per second. And the red bar as mentioned before is a processor time for the PC over IP server process. As the video is playing back and every pixel is changing, we are offloading the pixel changes to the card to be compressed and encoded in silicon, which is a lot more efficient than doing this with the vCPU assigned to the VM. Now we're averaging 4% and 2% across two cores. As you can see, not much CPU utilization. Now watch the red bar when I disable the offload you can see a significant change in the performance of the CPU. When the processors are hitting 100% of one core, we'll have frames stuttering, etc. So with the PCIP hardware accelerator enabled, what it does is keep the CPU reduced and allows the frames to be continuous and smooth to ensure a consistent user experience. Let's view what happens when a user is working with more everyday applications such as a simple PDF document. Now keep an eye up here on what's happening with the PC over IP server process load on the vCPU. You will see it come up to the top as I am scrolling through this document. You'll see the PC over IP server is using approximately 3% of two cores. So to put that into single core, and you're using 6% of the single core. I am scrolling quite rapidly through this, and you, as you see, we never really go over 3 to 4%. Now I am going to disable the offload. The screen is now blue. Have a look at the PC over IP server in the corner. We're hitting numbers of 50%. That's a full core. As another effective demonstration, under performance you see how heavy and taxing PDF scrolling can be on CPU cycles. 
With the card, virtual CPU headroom is added to any VDI implementation to enable higher densities without impacting the user experience when multiple users are moving around windows, playing videos, scrolling documents, and other things. We'll offload this screen, and as you can see with the card enabled, now you're averaging 4%. So fairly significant results, and this has nothing to do with video. And another interesting bit of information is when you move the window around, all the content pixel changes that would typically happen throughout the day with employees working in a virtual environment. Those pixels need to be encoded and offloaded. As you see, moving this window around is at 4%. Let's go ahead and disable the offload function now and watch what happens to that number. Simply dragging a window around, you're using 44% of the two core system, essentially almost the full core, representing a significant savings when you are using PCIP hardware accelerator. Not to mention the vertical and horizontal motion is snappier and more responsive. As shown, there is a reduction in vCPU utilization when the card is enabled. Plus, we can see a smoothing out of peaks over time this protects the user experience as applications are running are more responsive on a continuous basis across multiple VMs. We'll open the media player and go full screen and play the video again. As you can see, when offloaded, that video is using the 4% of the two vCPU systems. As illustrated, very little PC over IP server is being used and this VM has lots headroom to run other applications and get back processes to other VMs within the ESXi host to prevent things like CPU ready, which will cause user interaction issues with launching applications and moving stuff around and cause customers frustrations and a poor user experience. Let's go ahead and disable that monitor. Now you see that it triples and quadruples the CPU utilization and you certainly see the bar graph up top move up as a thread is now being executed via the vCPU, which is not optimized for compression and encoding. We will go and take a look at the CPU. So playing this video, we're at 30%, 26%. We can click this button on the dashboard to start offloading, and we're now down to 2%, 7%, and 8% respectively. As you can see in this demo, there is a significant advantage to having a PCOIP hardware accelerator, whether it's for PDF scrolling, moving Windows Explorer windows around, or performing general multimedia tasks. PCOIP hardware accelerator complements GPU deployments in a VMware horizon with view environment. We hope you enjoyed today's demonstration and now better understand how PCOIP hardware accelerator can make a positive impact on your VDI deployment. Regardless of the type of workload, the card dynamically offloads up to 100 of the most active displays on a server and reduces CPU peaks to provide a consistent user experience at all times. Listed are some resources you may find helpful regarding the card. If you have any questions, please contact us directly at sales at and we'll be happy to get back to you. Thank you for watching.